Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Bing ads and you know how to do them and you know, I'm going to talk about a couple of cool things that are going to help you to get better results for them. So if you remember in my previous video, I made a video on Bing's, Bing ads about like six months ago and I'm going to actually put a video up here so you can check it out. But in that video, I kind of I'll explained more on, you know, actually running the campaign. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm, in this video, I'm going to focus more on um, the research phase, the, the research phase of it, and you know how to actually uh, research your ads, you know, like topic, the keywords correctly in a way that is going to actually uh, get you good results. Now, guys, before I even say anything about Bing advertising and just advertising in general, let me tell you that uh, PPC in general, you know, Bing, uh, Google AdWords, anything you do, is really complicated and um, it's kind of almost impossible to explain it in a 10-15 minute video so just keep in mind you know in the things that I'm teaching here is just like I'm just trying to do my best to do it as fast as possible so um, so I'm not gonna I don't have to make a two-hour video because no one wants that but um, so yeah just you know keep in mind that I'm just do, explaining things as short as possible here I'm not uh, get I'm not getting to the details the way I want to because that's something I do inside the gold masterclass. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, so check it out. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm just you know trying to share something here that is gonna be useful to you. But just do more research on everything I say here, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about research. Now, the research phase is really really important, and if you don't do this right, you're not gonna get any results and. I'm going to share a couple of things that are going to be helpful. These are things that I do when I'm researching and just trying to start a new advertising campaign on Bing. And the same rule almost, not completely, but almost applies to Google AdWords and you know all the other stuff that you, you know, that you find out there, pretty much any PPC network. Um, the big ones are obviously AdWords and Bing, right? So uh, let's get started. Now, th let me talk about something else before we start working. We start doing this. Um, one of the reasons that I like Bing more than um, more than uh, AdWords is actually there are two reasons that I like it. Uh, number one, uh, the thing is when it comes to Bing, they approve your ads much easier. Okay, now it doesn't mean you cannot like have some seriously garbage ads in there uh, you should not and they don't they're not going to approve it but um they 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 don't have that restriction uh you know there is the restrict rules that google adwords has like you know like on adwords it's impossible to run any and running advertising run any affiliate marketing related advertising campaigns so on bing it is possible if you do it right and it's not against their terms of service so that's really nice so yeah it's you can do it on Bing and yeah so it's it's easier and the second thing I like about Bing is that the type of the crowd that that actually that brings to your website the type of visitor is uh, usually converts higher I'm not sure what's what's up with that but it usually converts higher and uh, usually ends up in sales like in general when I, when I compare my advertising campaigns on Google um, with uh, with Bing, usually Bing gets uh, has a higher conversion rate. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's really interesting. At least that's the way it's working for me. Okay, just keep that in mind. Again, I'm just sharing my results here. Okay, so so yeah, that's that's just to let's get started. Let's talk about the research. So research the way I do. It, so I actually have an example for you here. Let me actually close the video. So what you see here is I have a pay landing page. So this is the landing page. I'm gonna. I'm trying to uh, do research to see, you know, what kind of keywords I can use in my ad, uh, what kind of ad copy I want to use, and all that stuff. Now, something you want to understand is when you have a landing page or a website, you want to make sure your ad copy um, matches your page. Okay, that's the most important thing in everything you do. Okay, so for example, if your page says, "Hey, uh, how to teach your dog to obey every command you give." you need to have that copy somewhere on your advertising because if you don't you're not going to follow the same theme and, and uh, you're not going to convert very well now this is something that i've talked about in previous videos 
I'm gonna put it up there you can just take a look this is something I apply to every advertising campaign I do no matter what it is in like Facebook YouTube uh, Bing Google AdWords anything so it's really important to have this you know like make sure you have you follow the same theme you follow the same theme across all of your campaigns uh, across all of your pages in one campaign okay it's really really important so that's that now let's go to the Bing now the first thing I do when I'm when I'm trying to do an um, doing research for do research for my advertising campaigns is uh, the search itself I nothing else you know so in this case you need two tools I'm, I'm gonna have another tool uh, but um, you need two things first of all the Bing itself the Bing search engine and also the keyword planner in Bing okay so if you just go to tools up there uh, in your Bing ads account you're gonna see the keyword planner so yep yeah. there you go so, so that's that so um so let's start okay so i'm gonna search dog training so let's see what comes here what comes up so it shows the look lo some local uh results here we don't want that we don't care about that okay now what I, the first thing i'm paying attention here is these ads that it shows okay that's like the first thing you want to see advertising okay so dog training made easy PetSmart, that's the company. Nine dog training tips. Let's take a look at this. Let's just click some of these. And um, I'm like the, the reason I'm clicking on this one. This one is because I know these are products. Because this is PetSmart and PetMD. Like this is really. They're not. I don't think they're trying to sell you a specific product because PetSmart is a big company. They're trying to sell you multiple products. I'm sure that's the reason they sh they're showing you that they're showing that ad. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to see what they have you. Here, so I see this is a blog post. So you go through this, um, and it's really interesting. I actually talked about this um, in my previous video, or maybe a video before this. I don't remember exactly, but uh, one of the best ways to actually get people to read your articles and like really get people to engage with their content is to have multiple pages. So this way, uh, people are going to read it. So I'm trying to see what they're selling at the end. Let's go to the page nine. Okay, okay. So they're not selling anything, but what they are selling is ads. So take a look at this. Um, so they're showing ads. They're probably making money off of these ads. Okay, so that's the idea here. That's pretty smart, by the way. If you want to make money like that, you can. But yeah, that's another. That's something for another video. Um, so yeah, so let's go back to the Bing. Uh, actually, let's go back to the second one. There you go. So this is a product. See, this is the product. So let's go back here. The dog training secret. Okay. So that's the product. So um, they're asking you to sign up for a landing page. Or actually, no. It's a product. So sixty-five dollar product, right? So that's the that's the that's the end goal right there. Okay. So again, guys, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see uh, what kind of ads people are running. That's really important. You want to spend some time, some serious time, to just research this. Okay. And you need to uh, narrow your keywords down. That's that's the most important thing. Okay. So this is something I mentioned in my previous video, in the, my previous Bing ads video. Um, you don't want to use general keywords at the same time you don't want to use multiple keywords on one campaign so what you want to do is you want to create one campaign and then you want to have multiple ad uh, groups in that campaign and you want to use one keyword for each ad group the reason you do this is because you want to you want your ad copy on your Bing ad campaign you want to make sure your ad copy matches your keywords so for example, if someone is searching for dog training and you ha you're having an ad about dog training, you want to make sure your copy exactly matches the keyword, okay? So you want to have dog training in your ad copy. That's why you need to have like a multi one campaign and multiple ad groups inside campaign and each ad group must have one or multiple ads with one keyword, okay? So when you target one keyword, you can have multiple ads for one keyword. That, that way you can just try to see which one converts better. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going through, and this is too, too general. Uh, dog training 
is really general because in this case, for example, this uh, this page, this landing page, um, this is not uh, intended for um, dog trainers. You know, this is just for normal people who have dogs and they just want to make sure their dog uh, obeys their commands. So you we want to narrow down, okay? You want you want to narrow down. Um, uh, narrow down the keywords. So, uh, dog training tips, behavior problems. Now, that's one behavior problems, right? Dog obey, obey dog command. I mean, obey your commands. So, that's something that is going to help us narrow down. Okay, take a look at this ad. It's freaking huge. <laughs> that's just weird. Okay, dog behavior. So this seems like a good keyword. See what I'm trying to do? I'm just writing these keywords to see what can I find, how to create bad behavior in dogs. So now next thing, when I find a more specific keyword, I go to Keyword Planner and just do a research on it. Okay, so let's, I think I found a couple of good keywords, okay. How to create bad behavior in dogs. That's that. Uh, what they mean, free puppy training guide, that's, uh, it's too specific, too general. It's not gonna, not gonna convert very well. That's really important. You want to make sure you find something that converts very well. I mean, it's related to your uh, solution. Dog behavior problem solutions. That's another one. See, so I'm just trying to put these to see what kind of data we get. Okay, and I saw another one too. And again, another thing you can do is first of all, you want to make sure you take a look at these copies, okay? And so what I do is I actually screenshot them. There you go, just like this. Uh, so this way I remember exactly what they're using. It's PPC, right? So the thing is with PPC, if an ad is at the top, means that the ad is ranking pretty good, right? The ad is converting very good. People are actually clicking on it. So this way, uh, when you see an ad on the top, you wanna make sure you copy it. You just get a screenshot, remember it, because this is something that you can use in your own ad copy, okay? So you can use their description, you know, like may, obviously you don't wanna like, have exact copy. You wanna like, you know, change it a little bit, but you get a good idea of what you need to write for your copy. So let's, uh, we got some keywords there. Let's take a look at this. Bad dog behavior. So again, same product, you see. So let's do a search. Now, I found a couple of good keywords. I'm just going to search and see what I get for it. So go to suggestion. I see none of them are really performing that good. So free online dog training course, 50 searches. You can uh, start running an ad on that and um, dog training tips behavior problems now that's another one now the guys let me tell you something it, on Bing usually the search um, the monthly search is a little bit lower than Google because it's a less popular search engine but the thing is you don't need that many searches like if you can if you find something that is like maybe over 60 70 searches per month you can definitely build a campaign based on that and just start running some ads and see what kind of results you get okay so that's really really important so yeah so this is how I look for keywords guys now again if you take a look if you just scroll down obviously you're gonna see more keywords that you can use so dog training dog behavior training another one says 1500 so that's a good keyword I just found it found it based on you know after searching these keywords so so you see guys this is how I do my research I just you know start with a general keyword and just narrow it down and I copy these ads so I get a good idea of what kind of copies I need to write to rank high at the top of the search result okay and also I just do a search on keyword planner to find keywords related to this and also see what kind of searches these keywords are getting another thing I want to share is that you can do the same thing on Google search results and just get keywords ideas from Google and just put it right here and see what kind of results you get okay so that's just one thing another thing I want to add alright so um, like actually let me just um, bring my 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope actually you learned something new. Um, because again, Bing is something really complicated, and there's a lot to talk about when it comes to comes, when it comes to Bing advertising. And I just I was, I'm just trying to share something that is going to help you, and I don't want to overwhelm you too much with too much information. And I don't want to make a two hour long video. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And by the way, the Gold Masterclass, the Adversity Gold Masterclass workshop is open. I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you check it out, uh, the, the Gold Masterclass workshop is going to teach you all of these things in detail and it's going to teach you how you can actually how to start an online business campaign and start an online affiliate marketing business and make money online. And the thing is, you're going to see me building right everything right in front of you. You're going to see me, you know, like setting up the campaigns, setting up the ad campaigns and everything right in front of you, setting up the building, the affiliate content and all that stuff. So you're going to see everything live in front of you. So if you're an affiliate marketer and if you want to learn how I make money online from affiliate marketing, how I do it the right way, how to do it the right way, the Gold Masterclass is something you should definitely check out. All right, so I'm going to leave a link in the description. That link is going to take you to the workshop. You can sign up for the workshop for free to learn exactly how I do it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this every single day. And I'll see you in the next video.